Welcome back to Inside Ambition. I'm Liv Jones, and today on COVID Stories, we're talking to Jill Shader. Jill is a fourth year culinary sciences student here at Drexel. Hi, Jill, how are you? Hey, Olivia, I'm doing good, how are you doing? Good, um, so can you first tell us why did you originally decide to major in culinary sciences? So I've had a love for cooking from a very young age. Um, my dad is like an unofficial chef. He was never classically trained, but he, uh, you know, it was really good at cooking and he developed a passion for it at a young age. So just growing up, um, we cooked pretty much every week, multiple times a week, uh, making all sorts of dishes. And then through the years, I just really like developed a more uh, passion for it. And um, I actually majored in high school um, in like a culinary program through a technical school. So that like furthered my interest in it. And then going into college, I wanted to learn more about the culinary science aspect of it and more in-depth applications. And Drexel had one of the best programs uh, that I found on the East Coast. And I just really liked a lot of things about the program, um, as well as Philly. It definitely is a great city to study in. Yeah, for sure. Um, what is your goal after college to do with a culinary degree? Do you want to go into the restaurant side of things or? So yeah, I've been getting this question a lot uh, being a senior, of course. Um, and in general, everyone always asks you, oh, what do you want to like, be when you grow up? Um, to be honest, I'm still figuring that out. I have developed a great interest in the hospitality industry um, from working in my current job, which is working um, in an apartment building, and then um, as well as taking hospitality classes. So I think I might pursue something um, to that route. I still love to cook, um, definitely a passion, but I don't really want to be just a chef uh, in a restaurant. So hopefully something that can combine the two. Um, I'm really into management as well and have gotten an interest in that. So yeah, essentially something that can combine um, cooking aspects with hospitality aspects and then potentially like sprinkle some management in there. Um, but I'm hoping to figure out uh, exactly what that is throughout this year. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure that there's, especially being in a city setting, you'll be able to find something that kind of ties all those aspects together for you. Yeah. Um, so obviously a lot of things have changed with the university during the COVID pandemic. Um, in what ways have you seen the culinary arts and sciences program be affected? Yeah, so being one of the majors that heavily relies on in-person labs and classes, um, we were definitely affected. I was personally supposed to be on co-op um, in a kitchen setting primarily um, this past spring and summer, and then that all got shifted uh, to remote. Um, so that was definitely a big challenge um, because, you know, six months later, looking back at it now, like my job description definitely didn't match what I actually ended up doing. Um, but it was a, a lot about like adapting to the situation and just making the best of it. Um, and then now that I'm back in classes, uh, I had two of my lab classes get canceled like a couple weeks before classes when um, it was announced that everything would be online. Um, so, you know, just been doing the Zoom classes like everyone else um, and we haven't had that, you know, lab aspect or I, was, I haven't had it since winter term. Um, and I guess everybody else pretty much hasn't either because spring and summer, um, everything was online. So it's it's been really hard like not actually being in the kitchen um, and you know doing the hands-on learning uh, that you know we're here for. Yeah, for sure. I know some majors seem to translate a lot better, like some of the science classes seem to do a little better, or um, in that sort of way, remotely versus other majors. So more in the arts department, in the culinary arts department, things like that don't seem to translate as well. Do you feel like you're like in from your perspective? Do you feel how do you feel that your program is doing on the whole? Yeah, I mean, again, it's it's about making the best of it, I guess. Um, it, it really isn't ideal, uh, especially me and my fellow seniors that are working on senior design. Um, a lot of us are doing cooking based projects. And while some of us do have access to a kitchen, some people are, you know, in West Philly in these small apartments with like maybe a stove. Um, so they don't really have the tools they need um, to carry out those projects. And then, yeah, again, just in general, like not 
being able to be in the kitchen um, that we, the kitchens that we have in the academic building is definitely a setback. Um, you know, you can't really cook online. That's, that's not a thing. So just adjusting to, you know, learning in an online setting, um, just in general has definitely been a challenge. Um, but, you know, we're making it work somehow. And I know once we can get back to the lab classes, it's going to be better than ever. Yeah, for sure. I know in a lot of apartments, like you said, there's not a lot of kitchen access. Um, do any of your classes have aspects where you are expected to cook dishes either alongside the professor or as a separate assignment? So none of mine this term do, um, again, because those two classes that would have been in the labs were canceled. Um, I guess the closest thing would be in one of my hospitality classes we uh, were learning how to like pick up dishes and silverware and like serving in a restaurant. Um, I was relearning because like I, I already knew how to do that pretty much. Um, but it was a refresher. Uh, so the professor just had us bring two sets of silverware and plates and we kind of just practice like picking up plates and like how to clear a table and stuff like that. Um, and he had like a, a two camera setup going on. So that was pretty fun. Um, definitely the closest thing that I've had to like an actual real life application in a while. Um, but other than that, it's really just been lectures and talking about if we were in the kitchen, if we were doing this, this is how it would be. Um, but it's, it's definitely just been, you know, virtual lectures and PowerPoints and stuff like that. That sounds like a really interesting setup to try and be like essentially setting a table and serving in your own home, you know, when normally you would be with your classmates trying to yeah, it, it was definitely innovative, I will say. Um, I did enjoy it, and he's one of my favorite professors, so um, he did a really good job with it. Yeah, speaking of professors, how well do you feel like the professors are adapting to this remote um, situation? Yeah, most of them that I have um, are definitely taking it well. Um, they're being flexible, adaptive. Um, definitely available. I know my senior design professor, Rose Trout, who is also the program director, um, makes time for us pretty much every week, even if we don't meet as a group, um, to just go over one-on-one, -on -one, like how we're doing and where we're at. And she's, you know, been a really great resource for that. Um, the other professor I was mentioning, Paul O'Neill, um, is another uh, big name, so to speak, in the culinary and hospitality department. And he's definitely um, been helping out a lot. And he's just got great energy and like always is positive um, in lectures. And that alone can can really you know make or break uh, how a class is going to go. And the material um, as well is just, you know, as good as it can be online, I guess. So for the most part, I've had uh, good experiences with that. That's really good. I know, especially nowadays with everything being remote, if you have a professor or a TA or whatever, whose energy is just bottom of the barrel, it makes it even more difficult to do the class for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you said that you're a senior and you work on senior design, but you also mentioned that some of your classes um, have been canceled. Is that causing any setbacks in terms of your academic progress? Because you're supposed to graduate at the end of the year, so. Yeah, so I have been thinking a lot about that. Um, and I actually, you know, talked to Dr. Trout about it and, the plan is to hold the classes either in winter or spring. Um, and they actually were solely canceled due to low enrollment because um, there is a lab class right now that is running completely virtually. Um, but I also don't know how I would like it in a virtual setting. Um, so if they are offered, you know, in the winter or spring, um, definitely I'll, I'll take them then. Um, if not, uh, Unfortunately, it most likely will just be forced completed uh, by my advisor, uh, which stinks because they were, you know, classes that I was really looking forward to taking. Um, but they're, you know, they still want us to graduate on time and be on track to, to do everything um, that we can given the circumstances. Um, and I pondered like, you know, maybe taking a term off or like taking a year off, but I think I've come so far already. I don't want to, you know, go backwards, I guess. So if I can't take a few classes, then, you know, it'll be upsetting, but I still have three and some change years of experience, um, you know, in the kitchens 
in the lab setting. Um, so I'm still on track to graduate in the spring. <laughs> Yeah, that's really good to hear. I'm sure because I know a lot of different programs are having effects like that. So students are considering, like you mentioned, taking a term off or, you know, what might be the best for them. So I'm glad to hear that everything still will get completed and be able to graduate on time and hopefully get out there in the field. Um, well, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's really insightful to see different programs and how people are navigating everything in this strange time that we're living in right now. Um, so. If you liked this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at inside underscore ambition to um, stay up to date with all of our content. Um, thanks for watching.